school shootings in our country, in the States, will be back in stock. Fuck. <laughs> what have I done? I created a monster. In this video, I create an AI which uses natural language processing to learn how to become an influencer on Twitter. I will show the entire process, from collecting the data, to building the model, to then generating influencer-like tweets. I will then use this AI to create a new influencer account on Twitter and interact with other people online. Watch until the end of the video to see how that goes. In order to train our AI, we first need to create a dataset. This dataset will consist of tweets posted by influencers on Twitter. How can we find these tweets, you might ask? Easy! We just need to search for the right keywords, in this case, hashtags. Influencers are very easy to spot, since many of them, for some reason, refer to their audience as guys. So all I have to do is search for a hashtag and if I see the word guys in the first 5 to 10 tweets, then I will use that hashtag during the data collection step. For example, when I search for hashtag influencer, you can see that we can find the word guys as early as the third tweet. Influencer Life also includes similar tweets, so my method might not be very scientific, but it's good enough for the purpose of this project. After some research, I decided to monitor the following hashtags because they seem to attract a lot of influencers. To create the dataset, I used Twitter's streaming API and TweetPy, which is a Python library that makes the process of collecting tweets a lot easier and the code a lot simpler. I began streaming tweets using as a filter the list of hashtags and the English language. After a few hours, I was able to create a decent dataset consisting of around 5,000 tweets. I then encoded the raw data and split them into training and labeling sets. Now that the data is collected and prepared, we can move on to the next step, which is of course building the model. I used Google TensorFlow to build the deep recurrent neural network. The model consists of three layers, an embedding layer, a GRU layer, and a dense layer. Instead of a GRU, you can use an LSTM, which works just fine. You can also add a dropout layer to improve the model's ability to generalize. I will add a couple of great tutorials in the video description below that show you how to do just that. For this project though, these three layers are more than enough. It is time. Let's train our neural network. Here we go. Here's the issue with neural networks. The deeper you get, the longer it takes to finish. Training. Unfortunately, I do not have a decent setup to train such neural networks. After estimating that it would take around 23 days to probably train this model on my laptop, I decided to search for a solution. Maybe some optimizations I didn't know of or something else. And of course, when you need to answer a question and learn something new in machine learning, there is no better place to do so than, well, Reddit. <laughs> I asked around and some people suggested using Google Colab. So I did. And it went like this. Okay, I might have sped up the video to prove my point, but the truth is that I was able to reduce the training duration from 23 days to a little over an hour. A small improvement, but it's better than nothing. During training, I told the model to monitor the loss and save the best weights of the neural network in checkpoints, only if it improves with every iteration. The model has finished training, it's now time to see the results. To do so, I wrote a method that generates new text based on a seed that we provide. 
the model has produced 70 checkpoints from the least to most trained. I will now proceed to generate tweets using several checkpoints to demonstrate the progress of the model. The seed will of course be, hey guys. And then it's up to the neural network to decide what comes next. First checkpoint. This is what the model produces. It's pretty much nonsense, so let's move on to the second one. Oh, is that a heart? Still nothing special though. At checkpoint number three, we can see that it begins to give some kind of structure to the tweet. It even attempts to create a link. At checkpoint number five, the model begins to make a little sense. It produces logical hashtags, and of course it includes hashtag Instagram. And a kiss. Checkpoint number 10. The model has visibly improved. It creates a link, followed by good I had to share. Our influencer has even got his first sponsorship. So let's take a look, what is this? Poshmark app. It's an actual app. Very interesting. <clears throat> let's delete this hashtag because we are family friendly. And let's continue to the checkpoint number 20. Hey guys, with you. At this point, the model apparently decided that hashtags are the most important thing in the world. Therefore, the tweet almost entirely consists of, well, hashtags. At checkpoint number 40, the generated tweet has almost all elements that appear in influencer tweets. We have a link, a sponsorship with Pepsi apparently, we ask people to buy something, probably a hashtag for our merch, there is only a very small thing that we are missing. Actual text. At the final checkpoint we get decent text for the first time. Hey guys, race, we have you covered. This tweet has hashtags, links, affiliate marketing, sponsorships, begging people to buy our merch, tagging other accounts, preferably our own blog, and I think we're set. We have an influencer deep neural network. Let's play around a little bit and see what happens, okay? Can you believe that people too to rise your business? I am loving Poshmark app. This app again? Interesting. I am looking forward to beauty. Check out all the items I'm loving on Poshmark app. Okay, this, this app keeps coming up. Hmm, what's up with this app? In viral event or down you, so good I had to share. Check out all the items I'm loving on Poshmark app. Here it is again. <laughs> this app is uh, very popular with the influencers of Palency. Let's hope it's a good app at least, but I highly doubt that. Goodbye world. Goodbye world to our prices. Alright, I think things are getting a bit stale. So let's try something more um, fun. Now that we know that our neural network works, we can train it to use a couple of well-known influencers. I chose Donald Trump and Kylie Jenner. You might say that Donald Trump is not an influencer, but I disagree. He has a lot of influence over people, therefore he is an influencer. I found a great dataset with Donald Trump tweets from Harvard, but I wasn't able to find a similar dataset for Kylie Jenner, so I had to pull a few thousand tweets from Twitter myself. Here's how it went for both of them during several checkpoints. I am Kylie and Lee Colithes. Sad face. I am Kylie and I am Sid. One rom, pip, third is for my forehand. I am Kylie and I was FIFA launching the furnishing till shouted face. A link is almost produced. Time 20. Minimer Sid has thing sound. Crying emoji, love emoji, crying emoji. I am Kylie, and I'm so sorry if Kylie is my boss of beauty. Hashtag Kylie Cosmetics. And a link, 15 minutes crying, crying. And makeup, I'm going, I'm gonna starting. Instagram, Life of Kylie, and you love Life of Kylie soon. <clears throat> okay, so um, uh, mildly interesting. 
What's fascinating is that during the trials, the AI managed to produce actual links that lead back to Kylie's website. <laughs> they must be really important to her for the AI to pick up. Uh, that, that, that's interesting enough, but um, now let's take a look at Donald Trump. I am the president and tar. Hey, anyone who can do a Donald Trump impression, feel free to re-upload these tweets uh, with uh, the proper impression. I am the president and we on foot did. I am the president and jid. Ho. I am the president and I man. Thank you. John Makula's Mordbo, thank you. Country now. Cranny fake new. One for the strong. So many book for the Gino. I am the president and senator. Yorks is so happy. Wellmer to tell. We would be future job. Criminally Donald, they are on us. I am the president and dangerous criminal. Resi Marie with Russia. Oh, and the American flag appears for the first time. That's that's a nice touch. I am the president and want to get his commitment. The only problem is that CNN is the primary source of news available from the ADA. Link. And the damage from Asia? That was comments unprecedented colluding with FEST. This. Alright, this is, this is actually very decent. It actually makes a good sentence and it blames CNN for something. So it's actually a, a very realistic. I am the president and relationship with Mexico. More today. President Trump will win 2020 information where with Mexico is getting out. Did, did the AI just make a prediction for the next elections? President Trump will win in 2020. You heard it here first from, uh, well, this AI. The next one is a bonus from the trials because I saw it and I liked it. Climate Republicans about 100% conservatives. And when he makes statement, officers last in the fake news media. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so I must admit that uh, some of these tweets don't make sense, maybe <laughs> all of them, but they are quite funny. Alright, so these tweets are quite good. But what happens when, hear me out, what happens when you combine tweets from Donald Trump and Kylie Jenner and ask an AI to learn from them? Well, Kylie Trump. That's what happens. <laughs> I decided to do just that, but instead of keeping it for myself, I want to release the AI to the public and see what happens. The first step, of course, is to create a Twitter account, and luckily Kylie Trump is not taken. We also need a profile picture. First, let's download a photo of Kylie Jenner where she slightly looks like a politician. Then I will use my very poor Photoshop skills to Trumpify this picture, which basically means making Kylie look a little bit more orange. Add to that the American flag and I think we are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Kylie Trump. Now let's upload the profile picture on Twitter, write a small bio and we are good to go. My plan is to post some tweets, give a few answers to Trump's and Kylie's fans and see what happens. Are you ready to see what happens? I don't think you are, but here we go. Vote Kylie 2020. So um, I did what I said. I posted a few tweets. I interacted with the audience online and let the account active for uh, a few hours. And here's what happened. Apparently we have five followers now. I don't know who these guys are. Um, not turning to Mars. Christian, conservative, right, right, right. So now let's take a look at the analytics of the account so that we can uh, see our top tweets and what happened. We have posted 29 tweets. We've got uh, around two and a half thousand impressions, 113 profile visits, which tells us that the audience is quite curious to see who we are. And out of those visits, we got five followers, which is about 4% uh, success rate, which is good enough for me. Now let's take a look at the top tweets of the account. Here we go. This is the top tweet. 
the abusers need by union work together. Tempt to make serious so much for crime. <laughs> so this tweet apparently got 500 impressions and 19 engagements. The second one is artificial intelligence is soon. I am excited to say it's all B. Okay, this is a little bit of a cheat because I added a few hashtags to see what happens, so I don't really count it as a top tweet here. Okay, so taking a look at this tweet, it is obvious that many people were at the very least curious to see who this person is, who is Kylie Trump exactly. Anyway, I am ready to govern our country. No consumer has detected 2016. Subscribe to PewDiePie or Whoa. How dare you in your lips? Just launch a fast free hope. My mom in Vietnam for my Kylie Cosmetics office. <laughs> so this, this tweet implies that she has sent her mom to Vietnam for Kylie Cosmetics, which is something to say that is. My partner and I have problems by Fox and friends. Don't feel lonely, friend. What do you think for the 19? I ask that it's absolute yonder. Have you ever heard about coronavirus? If I killed that, there was no crowd. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. My name is Kylie Trump and I love your lips. <laughs> That's enough of Kylie Trump for today. She also produced a few more tweets that I didn't feel like posting like the one in the intro of this video. <laughs> I didn't publish those tweets because I didn't want Kylie to get cancelled on her first day online. By the way, her Twitter account is still active, so you can follow her if you want. I'll maybe consider posting a few more tweets if enough people follow the account. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the results. If you want to try this yourself, I created a GitHub repository for this project. I also include some great resources in the description below that provide step-by-step -step guidance on how to create this AI as well as detailed explanations for concepts revolving around deep RNNs. And remember, if you want more AI projects and videos, all you have to do is like this video and click subscribe. See you next time and vote Kylie 2020. Okay, bye.